Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Thing and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. All right, so we could uh, go to Palavin real quick and uh, continue on the story mission, or we could see what the new Normandy has to offer. Uh, right now, we are in the war room. I think is what uh, is what uh, ta um, Taylor called it. And yeah, war assets. So the people, weapons, armies, and fleets you have accumulated are the, are your war assets. Your overall readiness of the galaxy determines how efficiently these assets will perform in the final battle. Alright. So right now we're not looking really good. But we have um, the Alliance Engineering Corp, Marines, Alliance Fleet, and they lost a third of their vessels um, with the Battle of Sovereign two years ago. I'm pretty sure these are all the same, yeah. So, Diana we have as a war asset. I mean, she's not worth much, but, you know, each update she um, we have with her will uh, we'll add to it. And then the Normandy, because uh, we upgraded our stuff, we are worth more as a war asset. And then we have um, the mineral resources, so anything that we had left over from uh, the previous game would also help. It would also help. And we have Khaleesasine bin uh, Sin Al Jalani. I completely butchered that name, I'm sorry. And yeah, she's actually worth more than Diana Allers. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. So yeah, we're off to a pretty decent start. Uh, if we had decided to sacrifice a council uh, and keep our um, and keep our ships, that would have given us a bigger boost, but it would have also impact, um, impact the story later on here, too. And I'm guessing all my model ships are just scattered all over the place. As if you look, um, all the wires and stuff, it looks like they weren't... I, the council won't help. I can. If Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. But yeah, it looks like we're flying Alliance Blue again. The Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Thank you, Tanner. It's a is a tra is a tra it's a trainer, specialist trainer. Okay, trainer. All right. Do we have any messages? Special ops. Uh, reinstatements. News. Okay. The Quarren fleet. Welcome back. Gift. Ah. So yeah, it's because we have um you have an upgrade waiting. Ooh, thank you, Glyph. And that's um. Oh God, it's. From Ashes, the uh, DLC. So yeah, since we're playing the Legendary Edition, we get all the DLCs and all the special gifts. Alright, so first I want to check out our good old pilot. Hey Commander, you know I had my doubts about the Council, but after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. Honestly, I'm not that surprised, but... They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. 
you know, for old time's sake. <laughs> I think I only did that to them once, Joker. But yeah, as you can see, they weren't finished uh, redecorating or refitting the Normandy because uh, yeah, we can't even access uh, Jacob Taylor's old uh, built old side. And then the lab was completely taken out. Looks like the let's see, we could check out or personal cabin, but I want to go from very bottom to very top. All right, and this is the shuttle bay. And Cortez. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Ah, uh, you don't have to be that formal. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. <laughs> so you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up <coughs> procurement chains? Excuse me. I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. Oh, don't even say that, Hammerhead. It made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo! I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and sh The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. Practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, what Cerberus was thinking. You know, making the armory on deck what the CID the CID deck the CIC. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The Collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. Hmm. So, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty sure he's one of the... first, um... Yeah, no, we're definitely not wearing that. So, this one's one of my favorites. This one is one of my top favorites. I also like this one and this one. The first two, they're not bad. Like, this isn't bad. This isn't bad either. It's just too formal for my liking. This one's really casual and I love it. I like this one. Uh, we're probably going to go with the jacket for right now. Yeah, I like the jacket. 
And another one of my models. Corian ship. Another one of my models. Hi yep. Back here. It's good to be back with the Alliance, but my god, you know, what were they thinking? You know, just scattering my sh um, my model ships all over the place. Alliance cruiser. Gath cruiser. Why are, why are all my sh uh, ships down here? Hey, right, Vega, your turn. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the castle? Well, you know, they didn't Same care. Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palamon. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> Just came down to talk. Great. <clears throat> Not sure what there is to talk about. <clears throat> you already know my service record. <clears throat> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. That was kind of under house <clears throat> arrest. Well... <clears throat> Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> what do you mean, was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. <clears throat> and the colony? It was either them, <clears throat> or the intel we had on the collectors. <clears throat> intel we could have used to destroy them. <clears throat> Okay, getting a little hard there. I chose the end. <laughs> Sorry. That's a tough call. <sighs> the best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. <sighs> you didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You a shrink too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. <coughs> so? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe. <coughs> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn. <coughs> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are. We need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Loco. <laughs> Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long <laughs> as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. The Normandy SR-1 model. So yeah, Vega's uh, pretty sure he's suffering from a little bit of PTSD from uh, watching his whole unit die, the, um, the colonists die. And what's bad is you can actually, uh, there's actually like a little animated series that actually features um, James Vega. Um, I can't remember where you can find it, I'm pretty sure it, you can access it on YouTube too. but um. Yeah, it features what happened to him on that colony planet. Let's see. Can we go in here? No, we cannot.
I'm pretty sure this is where Diana... Yep. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. We need long recruiting lines on every planet after you air a story. I can do this, Commander. Remind me to tell you about the time I made an Elcor cry. Well, I'm sure she's going to be a good asset. And down here was where Jack, um, was where Jack would hide. It looks like another one of our model ships. Another model ship, Sovereign. Squeak! <gasps> space Hamster! They released my Space Hamster down here. How could they? But I got him. I wonder whatever happened to Donnie and um, Daniels. Engineer Adams, I'm pretty sure I'm familiar with you, sir. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Well, why did you refuse? Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you. I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You're Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a BI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw it through. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. That sounds Pretty like much. Cerberus. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. 
Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. That's good. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. And not much else to explore down here. Crew deck. I believe this is where Liara is staying. Oh, we also have a little memorial wall. There's Jenkins, Katanalenko. <sighs> I'm not sure these are all actual people who passed away. Um, I'm not sure what the deal with the other names are, but we do see Kaden Alenko and uh, and uh, Jenkins. Life support. Um, not really too big on exploring all the places. There's a mess hall. Let's talk to Liara. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Oh. Hey, the council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. Now I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> Hello, Liara. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. <coughs> the damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Got any more information for me, Liara? Hello again, Shepard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. It is really hard to the see, Liara. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship... Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? 
He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. <laughs> True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this choice caused like a little funny uh, glitch in the original Mass Effect 3. Let's see if they fixed it. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Oh, they fixed it. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. So the original glitch, um, Shepard and Liara would be so focused on Glyph that their heads actually did like 360, you know, spins. And even in this uh, scene, Shepard would be like trying so hard to like look at um, Glyph. It was hilarious. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. Is that high-tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. Alright. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. And this let's terminal see. contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Let's see, armor upgrade kit. We can do ammo capacity or shield strength. Uh, definitely upgrading two shields would be a better call. Please enjoy your day. Let's see, and since we are on the deck, we should probably welcome Dr. Chakwas back to the Normandy. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. <laughs> wow, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't waste any time. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay. And your body has accepted the implants quite nicely. It'd have better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. Aww. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. Agreed. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Alright, and pretty sure this is the AR core, where we're housing the body of Dr. Ava, the synthetic uh, that critically injured Ashley. Yes, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Alright, and I don't know if there's anything else. I didn't find any more of my model ships. So that's where Samara used to stay, and this is where, um, God, Kasumi used to stay. And we have access to the bar. But I don't think getting crunked is a good idea right now. 
And this is where Thane used to say, Aha! I knew there was a model ship in here. And last but not least, our personal room, which we kind of did have a, a little glimpse about. Fish tank with nothing in it. Can change my armor here, but I'm not going to do that right now. I already kind of did that in the uh, thing. And did I find my metal ships? It looks like I found all of them over here. And it looks like, ooh, we can get more. So, yeah. And my space hamster. <laughs> all right. Right. Oh, and a little bit of advice. Um, ooh, uh, conquered systems clusters already uh, conquered by the Reapers can be can be accessed using the Normandy self drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and viable intel. So, uh, by the way, the missions that a trainer uh, gives you, such as you know the Sigurd's Cradle with the Server's Lab. It's highly recommended that you do those first before doing any priority missions because they can be on, they can be timed. Uh, we do have time. We don't have to really worry about it right now, especially with this one, because honestly, this one isn't a timed one. But some of them will be timed, so just keep that in mind as you're planning accordingly. Uh, normally, I would be exploring the galaxy, but we're gonna go to the Turian uh, Primark. And this is the Turi- oh, search and rescue. The normally is equipped with new and improved scanning pulses that can detect objects in or uh, of interest. Uses to cover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel to fly you around the system. Be aware, however, each time uh, the pulse is used, there's a chance Reapers will enter the system to investigate. Is increased. If the Reaper enters the system, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Which, you know, we don't have to worry about. But this is the Turian home system. Trebia, and this is Palavin, the Turian homeworld. The only thing on this planet that isn't silver is the Turians. Let's see. So they have a weak magnetosphere, which means solar radiation levels are in greater than other worlds. Huh. So... Wow, this is actually pretty. This is actually pretty good. It orbits a little over, uh, a little over half um, a solar year, or Earth solar year. The um, Earth, uh, the day lasts roughly four hours longer. Not bad. But we're going to Manai. Getting decimated. Please, God, let him be okay. Military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard, 
I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. <laughs> 